to another video by the Peppy Techie. So we are going to start with a main title on the first line. We'll click on edit. We're going to go to frame and fit. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. I want it to slide from there. So that is the start position. I use the roller bar to roll forward to about 0.25. That's where I'm going to want the next placement. And I'm going to move this down to about right here. And so there's the slide. Now I'm going to click here and go to blending. I'm going to go back to the very beginning by using the far arrow. Click blending. Send the opacity to zero. Then I'm going to roll forward to about 19 tenths of a second. Hit another keyframe and I'll take the opacity up to 100%. Okay. Now, of course, you can add some effects to your sliding text. That was the one I chose. So as I play this, that's how it slides down. Now we're just going to add another one. I'm going to do plus, add one more, an overlay title. And I know that it's going to, I have to unlink this right here so that I can move this. And where that finishes, right there where sliding finishes, I want to drop my overlay. Because as soon as it finishes, my next one's going to start. I'm going to click on Edit. I'm going to go to Frame and Fit. At the very beginning, I'm going to put a keyframe. Always start on the old text, or the first text. And I'm going to move it forward put about right here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is now move the slider down to where we want it, about right here. So we're going to hit this arrow, go to blending, all the way back to the beginning, hit blending keyframe, send it to zero, slide this down to about 118 we said, hit the keyframe, bring the opacity back up, and now you can watch it slide in. Again, I'll go add a different text color to this. All right. So we'll go back, hit the back button, play it through, sliding text. We're now going to flip our text, and we're going to start again with a main title or overlay. It doesn't matter because you can move an overlay title to the main track. We're going to edit, and we are going to click on our text. Let's write something in here. Done. We are going to then go to Frame and Fit. And the best way to do this is to take the very top here, the top handle, and pull it all the way down till this flips over. And now we're going to move this one up. We don't want to change the size too much, so we just want to make sure we're at the same size here, or that we were when we started. And then we're just going to move this up a little bit because we're going to have a couple other text here. I'm going to hit a frame and fit. I'm going to move forward to 25. Hit my frame and fit. Make sure you note this number 0398. I'm now going to bring it back to where it was and I'm going to make sure my position is anywhere close to 398 is fine. Give it a color. To reveal text, we're going to add a overlay title or main title, either one, doesn't matter. Now our text goes on this line. Add another overlay title. So we'll go to the very first track to edit it, and we'll type in our text and say done. Go back, go to the top text line, and note you should and hopefully know that this text can be deleted and changed to a shape or an image. We're going to choose shape and we're going to change it to black. But before we do, we want to make sure we are just using the size that we need. So I just want to do that. Now lengthwise I always keep it longer because I want to know where it is, especially once I turn it black 
and I click this block and now I roll back to the beginning. I go to frame and fit. I hit the frame and fit and now again I'm going to use these to reveal slowly. So we're going to come back here make sure it's covered. It's got the first reveal. I'm going to go, we've got four seconds on this, but I'm just going to go to 20 and I'm going to pull it oops, down to reveal. I'm going to go to the next 20th of a second, go to 10. Okay, and we're going to pull that reveal to text. Oh, uh, this already. And we'll just do it there because we're going to get it done. And then, of course, if you want to, you can move it all the way off. Okay, we'll go all the way back to the beginning. And that is how you reveal text. We're going to do moving text around. So we're going to start with either an overlay or a main title. I'm going to double click to tap, write something in here. And I'm going to make sure I'm in frame and fit. Now in frame and fit, besides size and position, there's also blending just to move it up to a corner. And I'm going to, I don't need to use size and position because I'm not going to move it anywhere. It's going to stay right there. What I am going to use is I'm going to use this arrow to close me size and position. And I'm going to click blending. <clears throat> I'm going to keyframe the very beginning. And at point 20, I'm going to add another keyframe, a blending keyframe. And it's still at 100%. I'm going to go back to the very beginning of the line where my first keyframe is and set it opacity down to zero. So now it will flow in. I'm going to go back to the main track and we have got this on track one. We're now going to add another track over an overlay title on track two. So now we've got our second set of text. We're going to go back to frame and fit and with frame and fit I can move it where I want it. So let's put it to this corner right here. I'm going to not size and position. I don't need that. But what I do need to do is click again on blending to change the opacity. I'm going to go roll back to zero. Always hit your very beginning. It's best to make a keyframe and it's going to be zero, but right now I'm going to roll out to about right here at 10. And I'm going to make another blending keyframe. Roll my back to the point to zero and put opacity back down to zero. Here it plays now. Now, if you wanted to make that a little not come in quite so tightly, you may want to move this back. So now, first text comes in, second text comes in. So there's another way to move text. And I'm going to start another overlay title. So we have a set of text. I'm going to go to size and position. Now, if I wanted to move the text, I'm going to start first rolling back to the beginning, hit my frame and fit keyframe. I'm going to move this forward, let's say to about six. And it's six. I want this to come down here. Now, if I did it that way, all that would happen is it would just roll down like this. What if I just wanted it to appear? It appears here and then it moves down. So for right now, we're going to remove this keyframe. And at six, I'm going to use th these right here, allow you to move back one or two steps. So it really allows for editing of your track. I'm going to move that back from six to five to nine, and I'm going to create a keyframe. So it's going to keep that keyframe right where it is, right here at the top up here. Now I'm going to roll forward one, and now I'm going to bring it straight down. It created a new keyframe because I moved it. And now within a so quickly, boom, boom. So instead of seeing that rolling motion, it automatically just plays and boom, moves to the next location. So that's another way to move text. Now we are going to change colors of the text. We're going to go, we can do this on a main title or an overlay title. We're just going to click on the text. I'm going to type something here. I'm going to come to color and effects on the right hand side. 
you want to click original and as you scroll down you'll find tint and hue so we're going to start with a nice bright yellow and click the keyframe we're going to roll it forward 20 add a keyframe we can hit the tint change it to red roll it forward hit the tint change it to blue roll it forward hit the tint change it to this color I'm going to choose the saturation down to make that orange and I'm going to roll forward this and change the keyframing on this one pink is good and I'm going to come here and change the keyframing to purple now I like this so one of the keys to this is over here on the far right above this is a place where you can save this effect preset and this is great because once you do this I put changing hues and I hit this and now the next time I want to add some text I'm going to say plus and do an overlay title I'm going to come here to my color and effects go to my favorites and here is changing hues and I don't have to go in and do all that because it's just going to change on its own now it saved that preset and that's great that's how you can use a preset for when you do something like that now you can also use that preset I'm just going to delete these real quick and show you tip you could also ch use that preset on an object so I'm going to come in here go to color and effects go to my favorite go to changing hues and now I can change the color of my backdrop or fire to different colors as well there you go that are our five tips of using LumaFusion please like leave comments and most important subscribe hit the bell to receive new video notifications and thanks for watching